the same way by preventing Mrs. Beard from eating garlic bread. I told you, you really shouldn't eat those for breakfast. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Nobody can stop Mrs. Beard eating garlic bread. Nobody! Anyway, every morning actually starts with a warm cup of coffee. Coffee with a side order of replying to some emails. That's me replying to emails. Anyway, as you may have guessed by the title, this video is entirely different to any other video I've filmed before. It's kind of a one-off, but uh, since so many people have asked for this video, and uh, we've all got plenty of time on our hands right now, um, I thought I'd take you with me on a, a bang average day of the week. No eating challenge, no contest, nothing like that. I am very disappointed! So if you're feeling cheated, then tough. It's, it's a bonus video. Quit whining! So as I mentioned, the, uh, the day starts off with a black coffee, a few sweeteners in there, maybe, for a treat, <laughs> and some uh, general admin while I wake up a little bit, and then um, it's time for the gym. It's time to pump some iron, let's do it, come on! Can you imagine if I took myself that seriously? That was a pretty intense training montage though. Nailed it. But that was just me poking a little bit of fun at those hardcore fitness channels that say stuff like, you gotta crush your workout, man. Train insane and, and stuff like that. And uh, people actually often ask me why I don't share more workout videos and, and stuff like that. And the answer is pretty simple. They're boring. <laughs> First of all, this is a place for entertainment. I'm not the preachy type, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Of course, exercise is a big part of what allows me to eat like I do and stay in reasonably good shape. But um, I want this to be a place that people come to to enjoy themselves and have a laugh. If I can teach people a little bit about nutrition, health, energy turnover along the way, then that's great. But you can rest assured that I have no intention of ever doing fitness videos. <laughs> Second, my training is very, very boring. I know people are always on the search for exciting new exercises and training regimes and stuff like that, but everything I do centers around very dull, functional, practical, progressive compound lifting of weights of some description. Not very interesting. And third, there really are enough fitness channels out there already, believe me. So if you're interested in, in gaining strength or getting in shape or whatever it might be, then just go pick up one of the many free strength training programs you can get your hands on. You don't have to pay for it. Really, it's, it's not rocket science. We've known most of what we need to know about how to get in shape, how to, uh, you know, get stronger, get physically fitter, things like that since antiquity for like hundreds of years. So you really don't need a scrawny bearded dude repackaging it for you to make it interesting. Anyway, workout done. It's time to reply to some comments. I showered, by the way, <laughs> I promise. I'm wearing a new t-shirt, you, you can see. Let's see what we got here. There's bound to be something funny in the comments. It's been a while since I've done this. Not uh, reply to comments, I, I always try and reply to comments within that first kind of 24 hour window after upload, but it's been a while since I read out some comments, so. You are a machine. More videos with drunk spectators, please. I'll see what I can do. That, that was a good video. Always makes for a fun video when there are drunk people in the crowd, but it's hard to, uh, hard to engineer that, but <laughs> I'll see what I can do. I don't, <laughs> I don't mind your disgusting eating. I just like longer videos. Well, you'll probably enjoy this one then. <laughs> Me and my son love watching your channel. <sighs> Gets me right in the soul when uh, when families watch together. That's a good one. I'm not even gonna watch it. That seems like a weird thing to say in the comments of a video you've clearly at least watched part of. Uh, the comments thread is, is a strange place. Okay. <laughs> Randy is the only competitive eater I watch. Good choice. Can't argue with that. 
Although, you commented on my video, so... <laughs> Clearly you watch my stuff too. That's a good little 50-50 split though, I can live with that. <laughs> Comments like this get me... Why don't you take it more seriously? You talk too much? Like, come on man, it's a food challenge, it's not the Super Bowl. It's supposed to be a laugh. Contests are a different matter, but you know, if you're doing like... Videos, they're supposed to be entertaining. Part of that is talking to the camera. How did I end up here? I've been watching F1 videos most of the day on YouTube. I guess that's Formula 1. I don't know, man. I don't know how the algorithm works, but... I'm glad you found me. Smiley face. <laughs> Lots of people saying, let's get it. That gets you an automatic love heart, if you ask me. A lot of people still don't even know that's my catchphrase. Probably because I say, let's get it! <laughs> In a stupid voice, yet it's, it's let's get it. I don't know, it's, I've, I've done it for years. There's no real reason behind it. Bro, do you have a tapeworm? <laughs> it would explain a lot. Not a patch on Stony. The pizza looks cold. The pizza looks burnt. It doesn't look burnt. All right, so after I've dealt with the uh, comments and emails, don't really have many of those recently because of the whole COVID thing. But um, I have to keep your distance, two meters. Um, yeah, I like to get out and have a, a little bit of a walk. A lot of people ask me how much cardio I do under the assumption that I do like hours of running or something, but really the only thing I do is, is walk. I like to try and walk at least 30 minutes a day, usually quite a bit more than that. And normally I'll go up to the shop and buy some groceries, whatever I'm gonna eat that day. Of course, I'm not doing that right now. So today we're just on a, a jolly little jaunt around. I'm, I'm kind of out of breath actually. But uh, yeah, just getting some exercise, gonna go home and eat. And uh, that'll be that. Sorry about the garlic bread thing this morning, by the way. <laughs> hey, look at that. Ver de flex, ver de mag, ver de hus. Ver de cure for coronavirus, huh? That's the real question. <laughs> I think it's time to go home and eat. <laughs> Got low blood sugar. <laughs> All right. This is it. I can't even make it look sexy with the B-roll, even with a fancy lens, because this is it. This is today's food. Uh, people frequently ask me why I don't do full day of eating videos or a, a normal day of eating video. And um, the reason why is it'd probably be the shortest video in, in history because this is it. A lot of people out there will know that I, I do full day fasts pretty much since my early to mid 20s. I've been a, a one meal a day kind of guy. And um, today being a, a, a non-filming day, I mean, of course, I'm, I'm filming right now, but I'm not filming anything planned or specific, no food challenges. So because of that, I'm, I'm going to be eating in a pretty severe calorie deficit. Normally, I would need about 3,000 calories a day to stay the same weight if I didn't eat like <coughs> a lunatic. But um, yeah, because twice a week I film videos where I'm eating a lot, the days I'm not filming, I tend to under-eat quite severely. That's how I you know, stay in reasonably good shape, stay healthy. And uh, today is a, is a pretty extreme um, deficit. So today I've got pretty much 200 grams of just regular tinned tuna, a little bit of salsa mixed into that. Probably can't really see it that well. And some steamed vegetables, some broccoli, carrots, corn. For some reason, at least it's not on the cob. So yeah, we got um, about 500 calories here. So not a lot of food. <laughs> so today's gonna be kind of a, a rough one. Usually I would eat more kind of around a thousand calories. I'd usually have a big bowl of cottage cheese with some honey, some blueberries, raspberries, maybe some banana in there. But I filmed yesterday, so today I'm I'm uh, coming in pretty low on the, on the calorie count, but it's gotta be done. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck into this. Usually I would just enjoy the food. I don't really do much when I, when I eat, but um, I'm in a, a bit of a weird habit lately of, of watching Bob Ross videos while I eat. So I hope you don't mind. Better than fighting with your spouse. Among all the cutters across the screen. There's something about it I just find really um, quite cathartic. I'm probably coming across as a real weirdo right now, but um, I don't know. He just he just seems so so happy and content. I like watching creative stuff. He's a painter. If you don't know about Bob Ross, one thing that um, that does happen if, if you fast. Shut up, Bob. Give me a second. <laughs> one thing that um, does happen is if you go 24 hours without food, I can guarantee you. Even eating some like carrots or broccoli, is it's gonna taste good, right? So, and people sometimes ask me, they'll be like, oh, 
when you eat a normal meal, like if you're out with your family or you're just eating lunch, do you, um, do you eat really quick? Um, I don't eat quicker. <laughs> I prefer to, to savor the food. I don't even eat quick when I'm doing videos most of the time. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> I think Bob Ross is like me, he has all these weird nonsensical catchphrases. Beat the devil out of it is, is one of my favourites. He does that when he beats the brush. Normally I wouldn't actually eat um, here in my filming room. I, I usually eat in the, in the kitchen or something like that. I've got my nice um, professional softbox light here. <laughs> Which should hopefully make the uh, the video look really nice. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm about about finished with this meal now. That's it for today. In terms of food, I know depressing, but it could be worse. It was a it was a yummy meal. Now I'm gonna go um, edit for a couple of hours, and then I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. By the way. This is why I never wanted to, to shoot this video <laughs> because nothing's happening. I'm just doing regular, everyday boring stuff. Mmm, that was delicious though. Definitely cleaning my plate today. Ooh. All right, I feel kind of um, terrible because I've got this big pile of uh, of packages people have sent me and it's been ages since I did a mail opening segment so I'm gonna try it. Mrs. Beard, you, you up for helping me? Yes! Alright, let's let's open these things up. This is my office by the way, in case you're wondering. Alright, it's been a while since I did a, a mail opening uh, session. I used to put it at the end of an episode of The Chronicles of Beard. I've not done that for ages just because I don't like dragging out videos, you know unnecessarily but because of that <laughs> there's been a bit of an accumulation of uh, packages which I'm very fortunate to have been sent so uh, I'm gonna open them on film and uh, if you recognize them thank you I I've got <laughs> I've got my uh, glamorous assistant glamorous wasn't gonna be the word I, I went I went for but um, yeah this is a very snazzy package all right um, this is some kind of scent Ooh. it's just a shame that you're here really because had you not been here, I would have just wrapped this up and I could have used it for your birthday or something. <laughs> sea salt and avocado, that is from uh, Susan Ellis. Oh, it's got a card too. <laughs> Check this, <what's> <laughs> this is an old one. <laughs> to, to Mr. and Mrs. Beard, love watching, it's addressed to both of us. Ooh. Mr. and Mrs. Beard, love watching your videos. They always give me and the missus a good laugh. Hope you have a, a, a great Christmas and an even better 2020. Carl and Suzanne. I should have opened this um, <laughs> a while back, but thank you very much for the for the gifts and the card. I really do appreciate it. All right, this one, uh, this is another card. It's quite a lengthy one, so I can't include all of it, but it's from uh, Reese and Kylie. It's, it's, um, it's like you join us for dinner every time you have a new video. So I guess like a lot of people, uh, Reese and Kylie watch um, while they eat, which is a, that's a, a, a good thing to do, I'd say. Thank you. Um, is this a CD? Mixtape. Is there no letter? I'm assuming this is for you. <laughs> it's addressed to Mrs. Beard, though. Yay! All right, first little piece of fun mail. Aww. That is neat. I mean, I don't drink much, but um, it's a shot glass. I don't know if you'll be able to see it particularly clearly. But that is very cool. Oh, what's it? Has it got beard on it? Yeah, well? it says beard, a food storage device found on awesome men's faces. Accurate. It also has um, a card. Hi, beard. We saw this and thought of you. If you don't drink your shots, you could use it for sauces and dips. I don't really use those either, but I will use it for something. <laughs> We hope that you and Mrs. Beard are doing well. Keep filming and we'll keep watching. Much love, Francine and family. Thank you very much, Francine and family. I might, I think I want to put that up on my little... Yeah, it look nice up there. Shall I do the honors? Yeah, put it next to the... I don't know, I'll put it up there somewhere. Perfect. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think they're, they might be a little big for me, but um, I could use them as like lounge pants. They might fit me. 
<laughs> I'm, say, I'm saying nothing. Hello, a lot of these are addressed to both of us. Hello, Adam and Mrs. Beer. This is something I saw and knew you should have. I thought it might tempt the missus to eat more, <laughs> more than just garlic bread. <laughs> um, I'm a fan of your humor and content. Always makes me smile. I hope to meet you someday. I live in Boulder, Colorado. Barry B. Cheers, Barry. Hopefully I'll make it out to Colorado one day. That's, that's great though. Thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Look at that. I love it. This person knows me too well. Cherry Bakewell Almond Butter. I'm gonna give that. It's been a while since I, I did like a subscriber snack pack style video, so maybe we'll, we'll save that for the next one of those. To beard, we saw this tea towel and thought it would be perfect for keeping your beard clean in challenges. Mm -hmm. I love that. Lots of love to Yorkshire lasses, Rose and Jenny from Ilkley. Thank you very much, Rose and Jenny. Again, I'm sure you sent me this a long time ago, so I'm very sorry. It's taken me so long to, to get to it, but I really do appreciate that. Thank you very much. Ooh, all right. Um, so this has got another uh, letter. Hi Adam, just sending you over a few things that as far as I know are exclusive to Ireland. Kind regards, Colin from, from Cork uh, in Ireland. Terrible accent, but um, let's have a look, see what we got here. It's got to be some tato crisps. Yeah, there they are. All right, we got some Haribo. Do you hear that? <laughs> We're fans of your channel, keep up the good work. Um, let's get it from your fans, Mike Bauer and Maria Martin. P.S. Haribo for Lindsay. Yay! Milky bar for you, oh. Thank you. I don't know the name of the band. Um, Liberator, I think, is the name of the band, so uh, I've not listened to it, but for sure, check them out. And, uh, ooh, a little key ring there too. Some more clothing. Oh, I know who this is from. They sent me this a long time ago. I feel terrible now. This is almost famous. It's my favorite restaurant in Leeds. They do some wacky burgers. They actually exist in Manchester, I think, and yeah. Nottingham. Uh, I don't know. Definitely Manchester. Definitely one in Manchester, but the best one is uh, is for sure in Leeds. But um, thank you very much uh, to the people at Almost Famous for, uh, for sending me this. I really do appreciate it. I'm sure I'll be back sometime soon. Last time I was there was with um, Eddie Hall, I think. He's kind of ducking me now though because I keep beating him. But I'll maybe I'll, I'll try and get him back. Uh, back down there. What's next? I think I got it. <sighs> Alright, so let's say, Adam, I've only been following you for a couple of months, but I'm amazed at how uh, how much food you can eat. Hope the beer towel comes in handy and stops you from using Lindsay's towels. <laughs> Thank you. That's from uh, Suzanne A in uh, Birmingham. Actually says, um, actually says beard on there. I love it. Thank you, Suzanne. Okay, this one says, um, with great beard comes uh, great responsibility, which is um, an accurate mantra. Thank you very much, Suzanne. Can I pass you this book? It's full of those polystyrene thingies. Yep. Keep up the good work. Please enjoy the gifts. This is from uh, Bethany Mia and Official Deeks on, uh, on Instagram. Thank you very much. What have we got? It probably is. I can wear it next Christmas. See when I make it. <laughs> a lot of people know I'm a, I'm a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. It says, put that cookie down. I assume this might be uh, for you, darling. It says, fueled by sarcasm and garlic bread. <laughs> so I'm going to pass that over. I don't think that's for me. All right, so thank you, card. Um, it says, Adam, thanks for the awesome vids. Enjoy the gummies. Let's get it from Nicholas. You're very welcome, Nicholas. Thank you for sending me the, the card. Tabasco oh. chocolate. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hell Spuds. This is from the infernocandyco.com. Uh, people have seen it now. That means I'm gonna have to eat them at some point. Uh, this is a, a gift note from Louise Brewell. Love the channel, especially Mrs. Beard. Also love for Mrs. Beard today. Uh, thanks for the great entertainment from Ariel. Uh, P.S. The innuendos are the best parts. I agree entirely. Oh. Oh. I'm not entirely sure that is for me. Ah. <laughs> Good lord, you'll be bouncing off the walls tonight. Oh, this Haribo. <laughs> Does that have a, a letter in there? I think I might have missed a letter because this is getting, a lot of people might remember that um, 
for a brief period of a few weeks, I was drinking out of a, a cafetiere, uh, like a little beaker, and then, then I, I smashed the beaker and I was devastated because it was like the perfect size drinking jug and somebody has sent me a, a replacement. No. Nothing? No. Uh, well, if whoever sent me this, um, I appreciate the the gag. <laughs> I don't think anything will replace the uh, the original beaker, but um, this uh, this will go um, some way towards uh, to replacing that, I suppose. The two times hot spicy noodles um, thing that people keep asking me to do. <laughs> and people keep asking me to do is I actually bought some of these on Amazon the other day. Oh, well, more to eat then. You'll have to eat them and the ones that you've already bought. I don't know about that. Maybe, maybe we'll come back to that at some point. But um, thank you again. That didn't, uh, that didn't come with a note, but whoever sent me these, I do appreciate it. Even though I'm sure they're going to cause me a lot of pain at some point down the down the line. But um, wow, that's that's mind blowing to think that's from about just before Christmas. Yeah. All those packages. So if you sent me one of those things, the cards, the packages, I really do appreciate it. it really means a lot to me. So thanks very much. And I promise, if anyone sends me anything to the, the PO box. It's in the description if you, if you want to, but I promise <laughs> that I will, um, I'll, I'll do this more often. So tell me in the comments if you enjoyed the, the, the mail opening thing, but uh, yeah, I've got, what, about three more hours of editing to do, and then maybe we could spend a little bit of time together before you fall asleep tonight. Uh, Who new knows? Boxes. New boxes, or? I'll put the new uh, <laughs> boxer shorts on if you want, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Ted Danson is a bit of a stud, but he must be what, 70, mid 70s now, 75? Yeah. He's still a pretty handsome dude. White hair really suits him. Yeah. That's quite handy though. I, my, I noticed the other day I had like two really long, not grey, but pure white hairs in my beard. I'm 34 though, so. You getting old, man. It's true. Anyway, this is it. I'd love to, to say that to have an exciting life. You know, we do stuff like base jumping and hella skiing, spelunking, but we don't. This this was just an average day in the life of uh, of me. I, I told you it'd be boring, but um, let, I'd love to know in the comments if you enjoyed it or not. Um, but yeah, we're just sat here now watching Kirby Enthusiasm and uh, just trying to relax for an hour or so before bed that's when we're in a dressing gown and i'm not wearing a cap this is probably the first time that people see me for like a year with without a cap on i'm, I'm growing my hair out so i can uh lynn says it's so i can <laughs> sweep get, it up because i'm good <laughs> it's not that long. bad it's just a bit of a five head it happens <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, the next video is going to be on uh, Thursday, regular video, and then we'll be back, blah, 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 we'll be back to uh, the normal schedule. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you then. Stay safe. Valuable message. Let's have some little mountains in here. <laughs>